It's a case of water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Onsiepkans might have water supply problems, but there's plenty of water. The Orange River is less than a kilometer away from the town. It's to the river that Ria Pasela rushes when the taps run dry. The mother of four is forced to use water directly from here, despite fears about its safety. The river is shared with animals, raising fears of contamination upstream. The water problem is unbearable because at the end of the day is that you've got water one day, for the next two or three days, four days, even the last time in December you've, you didn't have water for like in the whole December. Residents are also up in arms over the health risk linked to the water shortages. We make use of the channel in on Sipkans and it's a very dirty channel. It's, um, so we make, um, don't want to use it. I got my own filters, stuff like that to clean the water. We have the, the water bayou and the orange river. So which means if any water is for maybe a period of two weeks, in, you can go and, and, and fetch your water in the... In, 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 in the in the river. The Kaima municipality blames the water problems on aging infrastructure. They've got plans to buy a new modern pump for the area. We will submit a business plan and then we must wait until the corrections also can be corrected and then it's, 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 it's at, uh, at, uh, at, uh, taken by them and then the funding comes out. But then our intention is to replace that whole system and correct it so that people can get water as and when they want it. The municipality hopes to replace the pump in the new financial year. Ulrich Hendricks, SBC News, Ontsiepkans, in the Northern Cape.